Hey everybody, this is just a quick tutorial on how to introduce your beta into your new tank. Um, what you want to do first is if you have your beta in a cup or a bag or something, you'll want to put it in the tank that you're going to be placing your beta in. And what this does is it acclimates your beta to the temperature of the water that you have. Um, and the temperature should be in the 70s range somewhere for betas, so they do like it warm. If you live in a warm climate, you usually don't need a heater. I find I really don't need a heater. Um, I live in New England. Um, it does get cold, but the winter time I'll put a heater in, but it's summer right now, so I won't put a heater in. Um, as for the tank setup, you're going to want some plants in there, somewhere to hide. They really like resting on things, so I got them this little um, tiki tower thing, bell tower, whatever it is. Um, and I found that my betas in the past have liked this. Um, I have my other betas in some bigger tanks, so. Um, but right now this is for him. It's a three-gallon tank. Um, I also have a little plant back there and a filter. Um, back to the acclimation process. You're going to want to put them in the water with the bag and everything for about 15 to 20 minutes I'd say. I usually go closer to 15. Um, and then this is just my little fish. He's very cute. He's a royal crown. Beta. So yes, his tail is supposed to look like that. A lot of people freak out when they see royal crowns because they don't realize that the tail is supposed to look all frayed and stuff. Um, but yes, that's what he looks like. Um, and if you can't see all this stuff in there. If you see it all floating around, all that, those little particles floating around in his water, that is the main reason why you don't want to take any of this water that's in this bag and put it into your main tank. It could have parasites and bacteria that you really don't want in your tank, so that's why you just want to scoop your beta out with a net or a cup and put them in the tank gently. Um, so yeah, there's a lot of gross debris and stuff in there so but anyway that's just the basics of what to do um, you'll probably want a thermometer in your tank too just to check the temperature and stuff um, I'll show you guys another video of him in his tank swimming around and stuff and I'll tell you guys the name that I chose for him too so um, but this was just to show you what to do before you actually put your beta into the tank um, Anyway, okay, so if you guys have any comments or questions, just ask in the box below. Thanks.